this is Lyndon. Today I'm going to be playing, or just this tutorial. Anytime what do you now. Semi basic tutorial. So, first off, we'll just go into. First off, just going to equip my. my ah, oh, darn. Can I go into like. go like. that. Go into try mode. Try. Just to make this easy. Show There's a bunch of different builds you can use as <laughs> leaning. First off, I'm going to show the Magic Missiles build. So, Force Armor, Charge Blast, I Seeker, Disintegrate, Cannoneer, actually no, wait. Set level. Set level to one. Choose a talent. So, choosing a talent. Leaning has four talents on start. Astral Present, well, not changing no. I'm not even going to choose a talent. My spells are ready. So, Leaning has three basic abilities. But first, we should talk about her trait, Critical Mass. Getting a takedown will refresh the cooldown on all of your abilities. So whenever someone around her gets a takedown, or she runs a takedown, your grave uh, awaits. I think you'll regret this. Refresh magic missiles. Okay, cool. So, I'm gonna set level to 20. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. <laughs> Fine. So, these are the abilities. I'm just gonna start off with my standard. Nicely done. Actually, no. I want to set my level to 1. Choose a talent. So, I'm just gonna choose. Uh, power hungry, why not? So, all right then. First off is magic missiles. It is her Q. You press Q, magic missiles. It costs 20 mana, there's a 3 second cooldown. Fire, fire 3 missiles in an area dealing 951 damage to the first enemy hit. These missiles do 50% damage to structures. So, not very good against structures, but whatever. As you can see, we have the captain either tap and sit, hit, and engage and that, or. You can have them, but you go into weird directions. And hit, hit, for example, one. Crap. Sorry. Crap. I don't know why I trouble myself. This better area to show you would be. Should I even be here? Second, her W, second base ability, her W is Arcane Order, 40 mana, 8 second cooldown. Fire in order that powers the opposite challenge, doing 139 damage to the first enemy hit. The amount of damage you dealt is increased the further it travels, up to 1470. So, this is helpful. You fire point, uh, point blank land. That was, that was bad. Should I even be here? Cooldowns, I'm not turning on the cooldown. Fire it closer to but it's much more effective. We'll fire it out of the range like this. <laughs> it has more power. All right then. And last is a three I mana. So good. I astound myself. E. Normal cool teleport like this. It has a five second cooldown, which means you can run away pretty easily. Can teleport. Nice for quick escapes. You told. Set level to level. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. I'm just choosing some stuff. If See, this were easy, Leaming has the ability of two, or has the option of two heroics. My favorite, and the one that everybody basically uses, is Disintegrate. 80 mana, pull down 30 seconds. Channel a powerful beam, dealing 717 damage in over 2.5 seconds. Enemies while they're in it. The drifting of the beam changes with your mouse cursor position. So let me show you. Seems like my Maybe travel is Choose a talent. It is basically just a giant laser beam. You 
or you can't move for 2.5 seconds. <laughs> but you can aim this thing. It has a fair too much for you. Which is nice for like Alright then. Sometimes I really miss Chaldeum. Okay, reset talent. Choose a talent. The other one, which no one really uses but might be useful, is Wave of Force. Wave of Force deals 261 damage, which is fairly light. And not so light. So, it's not as when you're trying to walk the Wave of Force is taken away from you and teleport. So, okay, Arthas is chasing me. I want Arthas to start chasing me. He can use Wave of Force. Very nice, very, very nice. So, I'm going to choose a You have a lot of different, uh, a, build, a lot of different gigs that start. Astro Presence, Power Hungry, Force Armor, and Aether Walker. Um, Astro Presence increases mana regen when you're low on mana. So, for example, mm, I'm going not? to try to set level to one. Set level to choose a Astral Presence. I'm just gonna power grow. Oh, whoops. So I'm just gonna cast a bunch of spells. Easy. Everyone would do it. New York? What? Come on, that's not working. If I grab this region globe, <sighs> health return. Everything regens. Just more ability power. And restores more mana. Well fought. Reset talents. Force armor. This is uh, what I personally use. Magic is so great spell block, so. Did you see this coming, did you? It is a force armor block. So it blocks a single enemy ability, reducing the damage on the other And it can usually scan. Why not? Yeah. What? Not. Okay then. This is lower than the empty table. Here we be go. On Earth, cast something. That <laughs> was not. Health return. Just have to reset his. Excellent. Yeah. As you see, he used an ability which took away one force armor block, but it didn't take that much damage, honestly. Retreat! Choose the tunnels. Help the tunnels. And then the last one is Ethan Walker. Teleport costs no mana when out Here we of go. combat. As you can see, look at my mana. I want you to take a close look at my mana. Since I'm not currently taking damage or dealing damage, it costs no mana. Uh, 
Oh sure, I'll just walk into the See, that costs a little bit of mana to cast it. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Charge Blast. Magic Missiles marks bonus enemies for bonus damage. If this were easy, everyone would do it. So if you so when you land a magic missiles on an enemy, it'll mark them with that. Choose a talent. Triumph, uh, triumph, triumvirate reduces, uh, reduces arcane or cooldown at max. So, instead of having a standard 8 second cooldown, I, really I think we're going to use this one, so. Okay, so I need to hit someone with this at max range. Arthas, come back here. If you hit something with it at max range, it reduces down to a two second cooldown. Reset talent. And dominance. Take down the first one. This might take a while, so. First off, I can take damage. Your grave awaits. I didn't mean to do that. I promise. <laughs> Set level. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. Seeker. Increases magic missile single target damage. Pretty nice. I like this one. This is probably... I just go for a magic missile because I like it. I like it. So, increases single target damage. Single target damage because I'm always targeting the targets. Choose a talent. I become more powerful. Z Zay's Vengeance. Arcane is more deals more damage from the far. So I think you're farther away. It deals more damage. I'm to toggle the balances to be able to show it a little bit easier. You just get a good opening on the Arcus. Dealing more damage. Alright then. Alright. Reset Choose talents. a talent. No. Oh. Choose a talent. That's your set level. It's a ten. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. I become more. I should disintegrate in wave of force. So I can use it level to fourteen. Choose a talent. Ah, Choose a talent. Whatever. No, whatever. So. Disintegrate. <laughs> Candidate abilities and power increases. <laughs> So, if you cast an ability and it lands, you get this little buff on the that says, and your basic attack with damage bonus. Which means your basic attack with basic attack will deal more damage. This field. Cast very useful if you're going for a, just, just any build really, it's very useful. Uh, reset. Choose a talent. Glass Cannon, uh, gain ability power but moves health, so I have, uh, 200, 2,135, got down to 18, My knowledge 18. increases. So look at, so, yes, I do Sometimes gain ability I power, really but I do lose really cast health much, much less health. Choose a talent. I am unstoppable. Illusionist. Uh, increases teleport range and damage refreshes cooldown. Wait a second. Did I look at that one trade? I don't think I looked at Clamp. If this were easy, everyone so, would do it. So I have a higher range and. If I 
I lose too much health. It's instantly refresh. But I actually need to reset my talent so I can look at it. Choose a talent. <laughs> my old masters can see me so now. So now tells what is self Here we damage. go. Pretty useful to go Choose a talent. Choose a talent. <laughs> My Firefly, old smash missiles move faster, lower cooldown, and mana cost. Why so, not? For a second, I need to choose a talent. So, magic missile normally costs us to cost twenty mana and has the three second cooldown. But with this buff, nicely done. Wait, what? Move faster. Lower cooldown and mana cost. Are ready. Wait, what? Reset to Choose health. a talent. Set level back to 16. Oh, sure. I'll set it to 17. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. <laughs> My power grows. Should I even be here? That only took five mana instead of. Yeah, it only takes 15 mana and the missiles move faster. Choose a talent. <laughs> My power grows. Mirror Ball fires two extra magic missiles and increases mana for costs. So instead of a 20 mana cost, it's a 25 mana cost. Which. This one isn't actually that useful because it's just more multi tapping Unless you're like super good at multi tapping it. it's not very easy to deal with. Because this is a lot more English than English. Choose a talent. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Arcane Orbit increases Arcane <laughs> Orb range. So now My the range of Arcane Orb is that. Huge range. My Choose a talent. We are victorious. Teleport. Can I just get a shield? So, in teleport, you can get a small shield. Pretty useful. Teleport, you can get a small shield, which it's helpful if you're running and running away or if you're going and you want a bit of extra. Yeah. Uh, yes! Uh, one second! Choose a talent. Choose a talent. See, so Temporal Flux, Repulsion, which I need to get uh, the other heroic for, Tai Raisha's Element, and Archon Pure Power. First off, Temporal Flux. I you become get this more degree, which powerful. This integrate is awesome. Here we go. Is it great now? It makes it infinitely more useful. Now, it's slowed, which is, makes it easier. Just secure kills with it. Choose a talent. <laughs> My power grows. Oh, whoops. Reset talent. Choose a talent. <laughs> My Reforce. knowledge increases. Repulsion increases cast range and knockback distance. It so is have easy. Everyone much, do it. much farther range. Much farther range you can cast. Wait, it's literally there, and it has more knockback. That is enough. Uh, yeah. Could have sworn I put it around here somewhere. Your defenses are not. Tiny righteous element. Cycle of ability to make power. Powerful. So you go. Choose a talent. I become more powerful. Uh, an Archon Pure Power, my favorite. You <laughs> my activate it. Turn into an Archon. So, Archon oh, mode. Right. so you can continue to use 
disintegrate as much as you like without wasting any mana. But you can't use any other buildings. So, I can use it for First off, I'll show you the... <laughs> My power grows. Uh, crap, one second. I memorized... The only one I've memorized is the build I <laughs> use. My knowledge so increases. Also going to reset the forts. Recycling? is the magic yeah. missile build. I usually look at my builds on icy veins. So same single target damage. Here we go. Force armor, charge blast, seeker, disintegrate, can near, fireflies, into power flots. You just cast a bunch of missiles to get a bunch of missiles. Choose a tongue. Sometimes I really miss Chaldean. This is the balance build with a burst of damage and utility. Astral, pr astral presence. Uh, dominance. <laughs> My old Seeker. Disintegrate. Illusionist. Mirror ball. Why would you use mirror ball? And temporal flux. My spells are ready. Cast a bunch of missiles. Fire this. Teleport in. Fire your laser. Skin slows. So here's my kills. So tell her when they don't see you. Fire my missiles. We are victorious. Etc. Etc. Sometimes I. Choose a talent. I am so Teleport all in build. Pirates myself. high reward area of effect burst. Aether Walker. Dominance. <laughs> Calamity. Disintegrate. Illusionist. Diamond Stand. And some Poro Flux. <laughs> Always disintegrate into Poro Flux. So you teleport in. Rather entertaining. Your defenses are nothing. Choose a talent. 
and the orb build. Area of effect burst damage from poke. Astral presence. Uh triumph of eight. Size vengeance. Disintegrate. <laughs> Glass cannon. Arcane orbit. Flux. So this is like you can just literally snipe your arcane orb. Probably teleport in, fire your magic missiles, and your arcane orb. You can try a bunch of other things though. My personal favorite build is to use the magic missiles build, mainly just because I'm very used to firing magic missiles. I like to have a long And then you know, family. Uh, if only they could see me now. Magic missiles has very unique pathing, which means you can hit things in weird places, like so. Arcade door like should going for DPS. Do not be afraid to cast You don't need to like go back and cast that magic. It just loses out on DPS. So if you're always attacking a foot like this. this Easy. Everyone would do it. Uh, teleport has a very good. It's very useful. Has a lot of utility. Again, either teleport to cure kills, teleport away to run for mistaken or something like that, or as a last second dodge. I'm gonna like. Disintegrate deals less damage than other abilities, but it's still really nice against <laughs> Best ways to secure heals are usually magic missiles and disintegrate. Usually, what you want to do is try wearing down our Usually, you want to. This deals a little bit less damage. Where Just, to? Yeah.
Sometimes I really... Just <clears throat> some extra information. Just some other stuff you might want to look out for. Uh, Leaming as the Do as you the, as the, as the, the all character wizard? of the assassin class. She's hard, which she, I don't find her that hard. Here her skins. Standard. Master. Star Princess. And they're making Striker, which I do not like Striker. So this is her normal design. Different colors. Personally use this one. Awesome. Master Leaming skin. Unlocked at level 10. And has to be bought with 10,000 gold. Thermal paint. Purple. Star Princess. The Scream mm -hmm. Sailor Moon to you, of course word. it does. Normal, green, yellow. There is also a striker looming picture. I'll make a earth skin. I'll put a picture and link to it. Doesn't look that cool. It's volleyball themed. Yeah. I'm hoping now because there's characters with a bunch of skins. For example, if you go to Nova, Nova has. Besides your master skin, one, two, three, four extra skins. Nova <laughs> here. Nova can have four skins, four extra skins. Then well, Laming can have a good skin. So that's it. Hopefully you've learned something. Now you can play Laming. Thank you for watching. See you later.